Oh, why, hello, it's me, Mr. Sasaki, and today is Perpetual Motion on the Violin tutorial, step-by-step -step walkthrough. All right, Perpetual Motion, song number nine in Suzuki Violin Book One. All right, it is smack in the middle of the book, and it is a landmark piece because it caps off all that we've done up till now in A major, that's using the A and E strings, all right? In the second half of the book, we have D major and G major, which uses our D and G strings, as well as low two, low second finger preview. All right, so um, we need to really solidify what we've learned in A major, okay? And that's what this song does, okay? So if we can pass this, we're ready to move on to the second half of the book. All right, there's four lines that make up this song. A, B, C, A. So the outsides are A's, and the middle is B and C, all right? Let's get to it. So line A. Okay, so I'm going to sing and show you the fingering here. Okay, here we are. Ready and A. One, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one. E, E. A. One, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one. A, A. I don't know if you heard that, the E, E, and A, A, so it kind of creates a nice cadence. Sol, Do, and movable Do, or 5, 1, okay, in scale degrees. So, um, we have that nice little cadence. So, we have the E, E in measure 2 at the end, and at the end of measure 4, A, A. The rest of it is actually just a repeat, two measure, two measure repeat. Let's do the plucking uh, here, and I can show you what it looks like, and then you can hear it as well. Ready, and... A one two two one two three three two three four two three one E E A one two two one two three three two three four two three one A A Okay, so pay attention to that. Now, line B. Now, so our line A we kind of went up. A one two one two three two three. This one is going to be starting above three on the E string and it's going to cascade down. So it's kind of the opposite direction. Here we go. Here we go. So three is our first note on the E string. Ready, go. Three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, E, E, three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, A, A. Now, if you notice again, we have Two, set, two measures, and then another two measures that are pretty much the same, but the second measure of B, we end up with E, E, measure four, A, A. So again, we have that cadence again. So it's kind of a nice way to keep track of where we are. Here we go. So pay attention to that, and I'm going to pluck it. Ready, go. Three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, E, E. Three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, A, A. Okay, now, moving on, line C. Now, line C is not is kind of interesting because it's a conglomeration. The first one kind of zig zigzagged up, second one's kind of cascaded down. This one's going to go up and down, and yeah, you'll hear it. So here we go, starting second finger on the A string. Okay, here it is. Two A one one three one two two four two three E one two three three two A one one three one two two four two three E one two three three. Okay, so this one is two measures and two measures a direct repeat. Okay, we don't have any cadence here. It's just one two three three both times at the ends of measure two and measure four. All right, so let's do the plucking now. Two on the A string, ready, go. Two, A, one, one, three, one, two, two, four, two, three, E, one, two, three, three, two, A, one, one, three, one, two, two, four, two, three, E, one, two, three, three. Okay, that's line C. Let's just repeat line A at the end of our little stacked sandwich here. Um, just for review, ready, go. A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, E, E. A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, A, A. All right, so that's it. Let's try it 
in pizzicato. So for real now, we're gonna do it up in position. Again, we always wanna have the straight wrist because we are using that fourth finger. We can't have fourth finger when we have a collapsed wrist. Doesn't work really well, okay? So straight wrist, so we can reach our fourth, that nice arch. Look at that, yes. Thumbs and pointer fingers, here we go. Line A. So let me review that with you. A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, E, E. A one two two one two three three two three four two three one A A. Let's try plucking it. One and ready go. A one two two one two three three two three four two three one E E. A one two two one two three three two three four two three one. Okay, let's move on to the B line. So B, we're starting on the E string, one, two, three, and it goes like this. Three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, E, E, three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, A, A. All right, fingers ready, one, two, three on the E, thumbs, pointer fingers, ready, go. Three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, E, E, three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, A, A. All right. Line C. All right, so line C is the one that kind of hopscotches up and down, does some skips. Um, this one is two a one one three one two two four two three e one two three three two a one one three one two two four two three e one two three three here we are so two on a thumbs pointed fingers ready ready set go Two A one one three one two two four two three E one two three three two A one one three one two two four two three E one two three three. Okay, let's do the A section review. So finish it off with our section by section. A section, ready, set, go. A one two two one two three three two three four two three one E E A one two two one two three three two three four two three one A A. Okay, are you ready? Let's do super pizzicato practice all the way from A B C A. Okay, <sighs> get ready. Breathe in deep. Here we go. One and two and three and four and a one two two one two three three two three four two three one e e a one two two one two three three two three four two three one a a three two one one two one e e one e three three two one e e three two one one two one e e one e three three two one a a two a one one three one two two four two three e one two three three two a one one three one two two four two three e one two three three a one two two one two three three two three four two three one e e a one two two one two three three two three four two three one a a okay congratulations all the way through pizzicato practice if you need to obviously i'm going to make chapters go back and practice section by section what you need okay <sighs> time to add the bow now, the bow. This one is interesting because we have staccato markings, so little dots above the note heads, which means staccato. So um, much like we did with Allegro, where we did, right? 
bum, 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 bum. We're doing A, one, two. So it's on the A string, it would be keep that weight in, lean into your index finger, and open and close your elbow so we can break that friction, and then the friction will stop us again at the end. Right? Okay, so then we're gonna do A, one, two, two, like that, okay? So keep that staccato, keep the weight in, just kind of push and pull on the bow. All right, line A. Are you ready for this? Woo, here we go. One and two and three and four and. A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one. E, E, A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, A, A. Okay, not bad. Let's go on to the B section. Okay, so E, one, two, three, get them ready. Okay, here we go. One and two and three and four and three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, E, E, three, two, one, one, two, one, E, E, one, E, three, three, two, one, A, A. Okay. C. C line. All right. One and two on the A string, ready? One and two and three and four and two. For good luck, let's do that last A section, okay? Here we go. Three and four and. A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, E, E, A, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, A, A. Okay. Let's put it all together. So we're gonna do a super playthrough of A, B, C, A, all the way through with the bow. Keep those staccatos going, keep that energy in the stroke. Um, because if you really are committed to the bow, that's your rhythm, that's what your sound is. So we really want this to be steady because there's a trick. Once we complete this, there's more. <laughs> I told you it was a landmark piece, all right? It's a beast. Here we go. So final playthrough all the way through. One and two and three and four and a one two two one two three three two three four two three one e e a one two two one two three three two three four two three one a a three two one one two one e e one e three three two one e e three Okay, so now it is time for the doubles. I told you there was a trick, okay? So there's actually a variation B that's in this song, all right, to really test this out. Um, basically, all it is is that we have to double our bows, right? So for every eighth note, note head that we see, A, one, two, two, we're just gonna double it. It's gonna be A, A, one, one, two, 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 two. All right, so it's gonna be eighth notes turning into two sixteenths. Okay, that means our bow is going to be more active. So instead of A, one, two, two, it's going to be A, A, one, one, two, 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 two. Our fingers are going to move at the same speed, just our bow gets doubled. Okay, let's try it. All right. 
So it's going to be a a one one two 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 one one two two three 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 three. All right, I'm not going to say all of this. It's a lot of counting and singing. So I'm just going to play it. Okay, so follow along. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. So how did you do? So ideally, the way that this is normally performed and to pass the piece, what you would do is play the singles. So A, one, two, two, and once you get through A, B, C, and A again, immediately you go into A, A, one, one, two, 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 one, one, two, two, three, all the way through again. So A, B, C, and A again. All right, so practice those together you should keep the same beat same tempo just double the speed of the bow okay now if you're successful and you're really awesome with that then it's time to move on to the playthrough where i will do singles and doubles slow singles and doubles fast all right i'll see you there bye